How do Docker containers communicate using networks? If you have gone through all the tutorials in this series, you should know that well by now. This is the 8th and last tutorial in the series for Docker networking. If you are looking to learn more about the basics of Docker, I will recommend checking out the Docker Made Easy series. To summarize the Docker networking series, first we answered why is networking important in Docker. Then we learned about some core networking concepts like the internet protocol, network interfaces, subnets, network ports, DNS, etc. Then we discussed about Docker network drivers, which is how Docker hides the network details and simplifies how to attach different types of networks to containers. We then dived into the four main network drivers, none, host, bridge, and overlay. The none driver isolates a container by disabling its network. The host driver allows a container to share the network stack of the host system. The bridge driver creates an internal network within a single Docker host. While the overlay network driver creates a distributed network able to span multiple Docker hosts. For each of the network drivers, we learned how to use it, some possible use cases and their limitations. Thank you so much for making it so far. It has been a great pleasure and learning experience to share about Docker networking with you. I myself got to learn many important concepts and details in the making of this series. What do you want to learn next? Want more Docker? What about Kubernetes, AWS, Linux, Git, Python or something else entirely? We need your feedback. This is just the start. We are actively working to simplify complex DevOps and engineering topics and help you become a more competent engineer. If you found any mistakes or have any suggestions to improve our content, please let us know. See you on the next one. Till then, be bold and keep learning. But most importantly, take care.